You know the saying, a good tradesman doesn't blame his tools? Well, it's very true. And the same good tradesman loves them like they're his own little babies. And if you look after them, they'll last your lifetime. If you've never sharpened something, here's the 101 on it. First thing to do is grease up or oil up the blade. All right, so which part do you sharpen and which part do you definitely not? If you have a look at it here, this is a flat bed there and a flat face there. And they're the two that come together to do the cut. If you were to muck around with them, they wouldn't make that noise and a clean cut. If you filed any of it off, they'd miss and just bush you the plant. What you want to concentrate on is not all of this angled piece here, but just the very edge. Now, if you've never sharpened your shears or your secretaries, start with a file. Take the bulk off. Always go down towards that flat bit. Don't go down and up, down and up, because you'll just end up rolling over on it and making it blunt as well. And you'll see that you get that rust is gone and a clean edge. Once you get that the whole way along the blade, you pick up one of these little files and you do the same thing, but it's far more gentle. But as I say in the classics, the proof's in the pudding. And if you've mastered that, you've pretty much mastered everything you need to know. For the smaller things like your secateurs and your loppers, I'd probably do away with the big file and just work with these little cutting files. And for things like your axes, you start with the blue stone, go down to the file and then to the tiny little files. Everything lubricated and moving freely is another great way of making sure they last forever. And what else cuts in the garden? The humble lawnmower. I've had this little bad boy since I was 21 years old. The reason why it still starts first go is because I give it a bit of love every time I finish with it. You know that little hole that's just here? It's not a design fault. It's where you grab the hose after you finish to wash out underneath the frame. It gets rid of all the grass that's stuck to the side, which means next time you mow, you're not dropping that on the lawn and introducing seeds, which will become weeds onto your lawn. So how do I keep my mower in tip-top condition? The first thing I do is I check my blades and replace them every spring. Sharp blades on your mower are exactly like the sharp shears. The cleaner the cut, the easier the job. And then there's new products like this. If you've ever undone a rusty bolt or screw, you've used WD-40 and you've thanked it afterwards. Well, now they've got some garden products that can stop your machines from going rusty in the first place. They've got a lubricant, and a silicon. The lubricant's fantastic. It gets into all the nooks and crannies and protects your moving parts. And the silicon, well, it gives it a dry film. When you do this underneath the frame of your mower, it's got a film on it and the grass can't stick to it, so it makes mowing the lawn easier. How often would I do it? Probably every third or fourth time I mow. Even the inside of the catcher being sprayed, means when the grass clippings hit it, they won't stick to it. So it'll be quicker and easier to empty. Well, she looks the goods, but I've probably jinxed myself telling you that it starts first go every time. Choke is on. Come on. Like the day I bought it. 